All right, so for this video, I'll go over briefly on how you can attain or how you can achieve this uh, wraparound look for an object using um, the EP curve tool. Sort of pretty, it's pretty cool because what you can do is you can take the um, EP curve tool and then embody a mesh to it, and then you can create this really interesting look of of, of, a, of a nice rope with sort of a twist to it. So it seems like now it's it's more of a a real condensed, real strict kind of wire around an object, giving it that more realistic look and feel. So it's pretty it's pretty simple. However, it's very um, demanding as far as what you have to do in order to achieve this. You, so you sort of have to follow this verbatim or otherwise it will not work because this is probably the fourth or fifth time I've tried to do this and then every time I've done it before it just wouldn't work because every time I went for the extrusion it always gave me a stupid error. So, But anyway, let's uh, get to it. So let's just go ahead and start a new scene. So let's create a sphere. It doesn't have to be a sphere. You can use whatever the hell you want. Something you can wrap around will find will be will suffice. So all right. Side view. Create a use your uh, EP curve tool. So you're gonna want to start from the bottom and then sort of work and then sort of work your way up until you get it to sort of around the middle of the object. And then go to your top view. And this is where you're going to want to go ahead and just sort of start wrapping around the object. So I usually go about two times till I'm content with it. You can obviously do this a little bit more uh, precise if you want, if you're look, trying to achieve a particular look around the object. But for demonstrative purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and make this as quickly as I can. Um, without having to be as neat and orderly. So so then I'll go to my side view and then just make sure I end it to around there. Okay, so go back to your perspective view and you can see that the that our look that we're going for, the rope is going to wrap around this object twice and then it's going to curve out downward. So, so then all you have to do is then select the curve and then the object sort of bring it a little bit farther back so you can have I guess the grid as a reference point to where you lay out your cylinders okay so once you've done that you're gonna go ahead to your top view and then you're gonna create a cylinder oops cylinder that's good right there perspective view. Now here's I think one of the rules you have to abide by. If you create the cylinder don't create it flat initially because what ends up happening are from what I've experienced every time I create, try to create it flat without having to um, create it whole it didn't allow for the extrusion to uh, work. What it would do is it would take the extrusion and then it would center it um, exactly at the end of the rope but it wouldn't initiate on the process so I think you'll understand what I mean so go ahead and just trust me on this go ahead and create it like this and then what you're gonna want to do is you go in your face mode and then just delete all the faces and then you get a flat surface I don't know why it, it does this but Maya is just very picky when it comes to this method so just do it this way so now Go into your attribute settings and then go to poly cylinder subdivision axes. Let's go with 12. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that. So back to our top view. Let's duplicate it. And then same thing, duplicate it so you have four of them. The reason why you're going to want it four of them is because that creates that twist, that wrap around around the object, sort of giving it that unique look that it's sort of a hard wire. So once you have all four lined up fairly well, let me just kind of bring these just a tiny bit over. So once you have them all lined up, go ahead and combine them. There you go. 
and then you're going to do a central pivot and make sure it meets at the end of where the line begins. Okay. Rotate axis 90 degrees. And then we'll just shrink these up down a bit so it's not so big when we go ahead and extrude it. So make sure it's at the end of the line. So make it a little smaller. Okay. So then once you have done that, you're going to take the rope or the curve, go to your edit points, and then select all the points. And then make sure you're in anima the animation tab, create deformers, point on curve. This will basically um, give you a better look of where all your um, points are so you, you can manipulate the rope however you want. So later on when you extrude the mesh, um, if you don't like how it looks around the object, you can go ahead and manipulate it however you want until you, you're satisfied. Okay, so once you've done that, this is where the tricky part comes in. So. Hopefully it won't give me an error this time. So we'll see what happens. So go ahead and select the cylinders and then the rope and then we're going to extrude. And there we go. Good. So if, if it connects um, to the end of the line then you you did it right. But if you get an error where it makes the same four cylinders over here then you did something wrong and you didn't do it exactly verbatim how I showed it. So you're going to have to go back and try it again. So so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our settings here to divisions and then we'll go up to let's say 100 and then it wraps around the object fairly well. If you want it smoother well, we can go up to let's say 200 and then there you go. Now for sort of that twist feel we'll go ahead and play around with this setting. So for a twist we'll go ahead and make this up to about 1000 and then as you can see the all four of the cylinders that we created now extrude out through the line creating that feel of a really complex uh, rope so and you can go ahead and just play around with the settings as much as you want I mean we can go up to let's say 2000 for a twist and then go ahead and just press 3 Oops and you can smooth it out and then you get a real nice feel to it. It looks pretty cool once it's finished. So and then all I did extra was added it a nice color to it. So I went with something like that and there you go. So it created that nice cool rope feel to it. The reason why I like this method as far as creating rope around an object is because it doesn't require you to having to do a lot of work and then also just the fact that you know just with a simple curve you can achieve something as complicated as you know this cut sort of geometry rather than having to try to do it manually where you can create one separate curve and then it creates that rope and then trying to I guess combine them as well so but this works and I guess however you else you want to go with it. I mean if you want to attach a, uh, a new material, let's say let's go with like a Mia Material X and then as far as you know let's say let's make a copper where you can replace all that. So now it's all copper wire. So then we can go ahead and make me create a point light and then we'll just bring in this in our scene go to our render settings, make sure we're in rent my uh, mental ray. And now let's just go ahead and see what this looks like. So, but yeah, something like this is definitely, I think, I guess, in my opinion, is worth, worth the wait and worth the effort. So, and you get something really neat of that nice, cool copper wire look. So, but that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully it helps, and uh, yeah, so enjoy.